Yes. <laughs> Could you give me all of those employed in the state of Kentucky? <laughs> Uh, they were, uh, well, they were involved in a civil war. Yes. <laughs> and could you get me the senators and representatives of the state of Kentucky? <laughs> Every mayor, <laughs> the governor of the state of Kentucky. <laughs> now this castigate to punish or criticize severely. Yes. <laughs> then there's that castrate to remove the testicles of the ovaries. <laughs> poop, poop, poop. It seems that the family, they like to tell stories about, <laughs> But really, how smart they are. <clears throat> well, as one of those individuals that thinks that the Bible is full of stories, yes, and I'm going to get to the Bible reading. <laughs> I have some stories for you today. <laughs> stories of, well, taking custody of, of my sons, right, without my wife having to prove that she actually served me. Oh, <laughs> now... I know it's a story, <laughs> something that you as judges, when you're at your judges conventions or your judges meetings or the various places that you go as judges, <laughs> where you sit around laughing about how fucking stupid this is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to want the judges today, Pooch. all of them that are alive. Yes. And then I'm going to want the funeral arrangements of those that have died. Pooch. Now, just get me the signatures of every death of all of those that paid for the cremation, yes, 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 or the uh, burial, yes, their actual grave sites, poop, poop, and then, I know you're a judge, you're gonna die, now, it's a story, okay, it's a story, <laughs> Today, we're going to look at exactly who paid for your funeral, because as I see it, judges have been sitting around telling each other these stories about these stupid cases that they had to hear, and most all the cases sound like mine, where you decide to arrest me for a crime I didn't commit, and then you wouldn't admit the exculpatory evidence. Yes, I give you the actual evidence of not being in certain cities, and you decide to continue to prosecute me. Now, I got some stories for you today, so get me the fucking funeral arrangements <laughs> of all of those that have already passed on and <laughs> where they're buried. Yes, where they bought their tombs. <laughs> and then I want to know, did you did you build a big monument to yourself? <laughs> now, I know a lot of your family that go to visit that gravesite every year. <laughs> Just get me the actual physical location of... Every place that is the actual location, the GPS location of the burial of every oath of office. Pooch! Who was it that paid for their funeral? <clears throat> and then what, 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 what's their tombstone look like? See, I was online. Yes, he was. <clears throat> Somebody took a picture of my grandfather, Edward Budnick's tombstone. Yeah. Born in 1906, <laughs> died in 1988, <laughs> oh, in November of 1980. <laughs> now, for every stupid fuck right now, bounce, I don't want to. <laughs>